Hello my friends, I am Dr. Bree, doctor of physical therapy and founder of Femme Fusion Fitness, your home for pelvic floor and core friendly fitness and yoga. And when we mash those together, we get FOGA. So today I have a quick and kind of a playful FOGA routine that's really focused on the core. However, it's also gonna get you an entire full body workout in just a few minutes. So let's get started right away. We are going to begin actually on our back, kind of bringing everything into the center, bringing our attention and our focus to the core. All right, we're gonna begin with some heel slides. So basically what I want you to do is engage your core from the pelvic floor very gently and then gently pull your lower abs in. Make sure as you're doing this move that your low back does not arch off the ground like this. We want to keep the low back close to the ground, neutral spine, and strong, engaged core. Also keep your low abs, or your low ribs, I should say, pulled in. You don't want them popping up because that means your low back is arching as well. So keep everything pulled in. And we're going to begin with just a basic heel slide. So toes up toward the ceiling and slide your heel down and then come on up. Let's get the breathing pattern right here. So slide your foot down and then come on up. <sighs> Exhale as you slide the leg up. So down we go and up we go. <sighs> and you should feel as you do that gentle slide down and up <sighs> that your core has to be really turned on to prevent this from happening. <sighs> to prevent your pelvis from rocking back and forth. So in order to prevent your pelvis from rocking back and forth and tipping side to side, you've got to be turned on through the core. Keep breathing. And now, what you can do is either keep doing exactly what I'm doing right here, or you can join me for the next step. So, next step is we're going to do the same idea, but your legs are off the ground. One leg is off the ground. So keep going just as you were before or add this new element. It's a lot harder to control your pelvis, honestly. If you're doing this, you're gonna have to work harder, engaging those core muscles more to keep your low back from arching. So again, don't let your low back arch. Now if you wanna add more of a sweep with your leg, Kind of a kick and a kick back in. It's kind of fun. Kick and a kick back in. Kick and a kick back in. Kick and a kick back in. You should be really feeling your center right now. The center of your body, your core. Do not let your low back arch and keep breathing. Slide and back. Kicking and sweeping and back. One more each side, last one right here. Not arching in the low back. Now, right where you are, you're gonna keep the right knee in toward your chest, left leg comes out front. Now, if this feels like you are arching in your low back, then bring your legs up and you can bend both knees. You don't have to have this leg straight, but I'm gonna show you here straight with that leg, the left leg, and I'm also gonna show you a little bit lower. That's gonna make it harder. Now remember, if this is too much, bring the leg up and you can also bend the knee. But again, I'm gonna show you the full version right here. So, what I'm doing is using my core muscles to pull this right knee into the chest. I'm not using my hands, it's my core. Pulling the knee into the chest. Don't let your low back arch. Oh my gosh, hands are at the ground, holding it, holding it. Everything in your body is moving toward the center so your legs aren't coming out to the side. They're coming inward toward the center. Keep breathing. Don't let your low back arch. And back to the middle. Swirl up those legs. And we're gonna go to the other side. Same thing, other side. So have fun with this. We are playful today. We're having fun. Nothing too serious, nothing too hard. Well, it's hard, but you know, it's fun hard, right? It's a fun hard. 
Okay, other side. So left knee in toward your chest, right leg is long. Hands are at the ground. Remember, don't let your low back arch. That's a no-no. We want to keep your low abs pulled in, your pelvic floor lifted, everything pulling inward and upward, holding strong. You can absolutely have your leg higher if having it low is gonna make it harder. So having it higher will make it easier and you can bend. But if you're ready for the full version, you're gonna follow me right here. Everything is moving toward the center, breathing steadily, using your core muscles, your core, to pull that knee into the chest. So oftentimes we might use our hands to pull the knee in, but not now. Now we're using our core to bring everything to the center and breathe. Shoulders relaxed. One more breath. And swirl those legs around. All right, total core workout. So we're starting with these moves that bring our attention to the core, the center of the body. Now let's rock up to a seated position, hands behind your thighs. And we're gonna just do a quick, quick little figure four stretch. So right foot into the left inner thigh, inhale, lift, exhale, fold. Let your head hang. And I actually like the way it feels to use my right hand on my right thigh and press down a little bit. Just release into this. One more deep breath. Now, come on up, stagger the legs. So this is my left leg and this is my right leg. They're staggered. And what I want you to do is hands at your chest, strong through the core, Exhale and lift up and come down. Got it? Lift up and come down. If you feel like your bottom is stuck to the ground and you can't quite get up, then you can use your hands and maybe just come up a little bit. Keep going and down. Be sure to exhale as you lift up with control and down. Three more and down. Two more. And down, last one. And down, nice job. Now, feet together, butterfly. Lift up nice and tall. And exhale, fold into a nice little butterfly stretch here. Now inhale, lift. And exhale, put your legs out farther. Crawl both hands under your legs. Flip your palms up. You wanna bring your arms back just a little bit. Lift through the pelvic floor, pull in your low abs, and slow and with control, you wanna rock back. Now, if you fell backwards, if you fell all the way back onto your back right now, that's okay. Just rock yourself back up. You are all good. Just stay here, lift your chest, feel your biceps working, your arms, Super strong through your arms, lifted through the heart, and then come on down. Okay, moving into the other figure four stretch. So now my right leg is out, left foot is into the inner thigh. Lift and exhale, fold forward. I'm gonna use my left arm or my left hand on my left thigh and just stretch. I'll show you a different view here. Inhale, and exhale. All right, come on up. And now, 
This right leg is going to bend and we're staggered in the other direction. So staggered legs, same thing as before. Lifted through the pelvic floor and core and we come up and down. Up and down. Now, if this is too much, you feel like your bottom is actually magnetized to the floor, you cannot get up, use your arms for help, that's fine. But whatever you're doing, whatever you're playing with, breathe with it, exhale, and down three more. And down, squeeze those buns, and last one, and down, very nice. One more round of that flower pose. So feet together, we start with a butterfly, lift through the chest and spine, and exhale, fold. Now inhale, come up, feet come forward, hands come under, flip the palms up, Come back just a little bit, lift it through the pelvic floor and core, and with control, you're going to exhale back into this flower pose. It's like a little lotus flower here. You're really strong through your biceps. They're helping to lift your legs up off the ground. Chest is lifted, try not to round. When you round, that's what's gonna make you rock back. So you wanna be lifted through the heart, and breathing. And now feet down with control, hands in fists behind your back. You're gonna lift up onto a, your hands into a reverse tabletop. Shoulders are down, chest is lifted, and bum is lifted. Now let's play. Inhale and lift, exhale, flip yourself over into a hovering position right here. So you're hovering, knees hovering off the ground. Bring your attention to your center, your core. Use your core, belly is pulled to the spine, knees are hovering off the ground. And now, coming onto my right arm, I'm going to kick my right leg out to the side and left arm up. Now, same thing, other side, kick my left leg out to the side, right arm up and down. Now, flipping back over onto your hands, back into our reverse tabletop, lift, and we're gonna go straight to the other side. So flip the other way. So flip over onto your hands, knees are hovering, holding it here, and we kick, and kick, and flip back over onto your back. <sighs> Lift the bum high and come on down. Oh my gosh, okay. Roll down, hands behind your thighs, and then feet together, knees apart. Lift into a frog bridge. So you're in a frog leg position and down. Lift and down. Bum is nice and strong. Lift and down, eight more, eight, breathe steadily, seven, six, I like to exhale as I lift, five, exhale, four, exhale, three, pressing into the outer edges of your feet, two, last one, hold it here, hold it here, and circle it, seven, six, Five, you should be feeling this everywhere. Four, three, two, one, go the other way. Eight, seven, six, inner thighs, outer thighs. Five, four, three, keep breathing. Two, 
And last one. Oh gosh. Feet flat on the ground. Kick out the legs. Kick it out. Kick it out again. And we're going to end with a twist. So you never want to skip out on that last stretch. It's so good for you. Let's shift our hips to the right just a little bit. So they shift this way to the right. Right knee into your chest. Left leg long. And twist across your body. Oh, hold it here. So that was a fun, quick, little playful workout. If you didn't get the moves or if they felt funny the first time through, give it a try again. You're gonna like it the more you do it, I promise. One more deep breath in and out. And then carefully bring that leg up and shift the hips back to the center. Rock yourself a little bit, rocking up and down. And now shift the hips to the left, straighten the right leg, pull the left knee into the chest and twist across your body. Your whole body, go ahead and rock yourself up to a seated position, hands behind your thighs. By the way, you never just want to go like this. That's really hard on your pelvic floor. So always either rock up with your hands behind your thighs or roll onto your side and then press up. Anyway, what I was going to say is your whole body got a little something out of that workout. We got stretching and strengthening throughout your whole body with a special focus on the core. I hope you enjoyed it and remember to move more throughout your day. The more little movement breaks you can fit into your day, the better. So please enjoy moving more with me. It's great for your overall health, not just your core and pelvic floor, although they're going to get a great workout with this that you did today. So give it a practice. Try it again tomorrow if you didn't get it today and just have fun with it. Thanks again for being with me and until next time, remember, eat clean, move every day, and you will shine brighter.